Hello and welcome, Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition. All right, Scorpio, I gotta adjust my mic there. All right, so welcome to your 2020 outlook. So what this one is, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not doing it month by month. Instead, I'm just looking at different areas in your life, kind of seeing, you know, like what's going on in 2020 for you. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and start by where are you now going into 2020? All right, so where is Scorpio now going into 2020? All right, so we have that Prince of Staves energy, which, you know, this isn't the most um, steady energy. You know, this is kind of that in and out energy. This is kind of being indecisive. But, you know, this is going into 2020, so, I mean, we could be kind of off to a rocky start. Um, we had two um, Shocker Oracle, I had a mind blank, sorry, two Shocker Oracle cards come out, and it's dealing with card number 15, your solar plexus chakra, and then card number 8, your sacral chakra. So, Scorpio, right off the bat, this is kind of telling me, um, you know, these could be those... Um, kind of a friends with benefits type, you know, relationship, you know, kind of going into 2020 and, you know, you're kind of looking to kind of shake that. Um, that's really what I'm getting with these two cards here as you're just kind of done with that. You're kind of over that. You want something, you know, a little more, you want something, um, something long lasting, something that, you know, someone you can grow with. All right, solar plexus chakra too. You know, these are cards. These aren't just, you know, issues within the cards. These are like the chakras coming out. So make sure you're taking out some time. Do some meditation. You know, try to align some chakras here. Definitely work on your sacral chakra. Definitely work on that solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus, definitely, that tends to deal with like, um, you know, intestinal issues. Um, you know, so make sure you're kind of, you know, what really helps to kind of align chakras too is kind of eating the colors. Um, I know that kind of sounds crazy, but, you know, like I said, it helps. Meditation helps, you know, really, um, you know, you can even see like a Reiki healer, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, but, you know, kind of just get the chakras aligned. All right. Now for Moonology, we have expect a powerful change, new moon eclipse. All right. So, you know, Scorpio. Going into 2020, like I said, you're ready for things to change. You're tired of, you know, this this type of stuff, this, you know, maybe friends with benefits or, um, you know, just relationships that aren't really meaningful to you. You want something different in relationships. You want something different in work. You know, you want something different in life, um, you know, in your health. Like, you're really looking to make some big changes in 2020. So, you know, I think, yeah, you guys... Well, there's a couple other signs that really had some big things going on, like right at the start, and you guys are definitely one of them. All right, now, as far as relationships goes, um, you know, there's some deception. Now, t keep in mind, this does not have to be with, like, just your romantic relationships. This could be with family. This could be with friends. This could be with, um, you know, so many relationships here, you know, any situationship. You know, again, like I said, for those of you that I'm picking up those um, kind of friends with benefits um, relationships here or situationships, we have some deception. You know, this is someone wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, you know, really kind of be aware of those. Like I said, these are connections that you are looking to just kind of be done with. You're over them. You know, you want something, you know, sturdy, steady, solid, someone to grow with this year. You know, you're kind of done with the in and out energy. So, all right, you know, you want something, um, you know, because this is Knight of Wands energy. So even though it is action oriented, you know, it's, um, you know, a lot of passion, there's chemistry, you know, you're still, you're looking for something more. You just, you want something and someone to grow with. All right. And that's what I'm just getting, you know, for you guys right off the bat. All right. So now let's look into something positive in 2020 for Scorpio. Okay, and I'm trying my best to shuffle on camera. I know I've said this in like several videos. Um, you know, people do request that I shuffle on camera, but I have a teeny tiny filming space. Um, <laughs> well, not the space that I'm in, but where I'm filming, it's kind of teeny tiny. And so I'm trying to do the best that I can. So be patient with me. I'm trying to get things all sorted out. Okay. All right, so Scorpio. 
All right, so we have card number 12. This talks about desires. This talks about goals, passion, craving, fulfillment. So, you know, on a passion um, standpoint, you no, know, you guys are, you know, you're really wanting to get out there. You know, you want those physical relationships. You want to be fulfilled physically, you know, as far as mentally as well. You know, you have goals that you want to achieve. You have, like I said, passions that you want to you know, get out there that you want to pursue. This is also talking about romance, you know, again, dealing with that sacral chakra. So, yeah. So, okay. So this is something positive. You know, you guys are really going to, um, you're really going to be feeling yourselves this year in 2020. You're really going to, like I said, set those goals. You're going to be looking for fulfillment. You know, you don't, you're not just going to be settling for certain things. And, um, like you did in 2019, you know, maybe, like I said, you were kind of settling for those friends with benefits type situations. And in 2020, you're like, nah, you need to go. You need to hit the road. I want something more. I want something different. I, you know, I, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for and it's not you. <laughs> so, I mean, you're Scorpio. Y'all get to the point all the time. So, all right. So now with, okay, I already took that card. All right. So now let's get into Moonology. We have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. All right, so something positive in 2020, you're going to have luck on your side. If that's not positive, then I don't know what is. So it looks like, you know, a lot of things this year are really going to be kind of going your way. Like I said, as far as, you know, attaining those goals, you know, being passionate, having those passion filled, you know, romances, relationships, you know, a lot of things, like I said, are really going to really going to go your way in 2020. As far as relationships goes, you know, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So Sagittarius, um, in 2020, you know, this could be someone from your past, you know, coming back. This could be, um, you know, maybe this is just a friend that you've never, you know, actually like hooked up with or, you know, really thought of romantically. But now all of a sudden you're like, huh, you know, we have a lot in common. We both have the same goals. We both have the same passions. You know, whatever the case is, you know, you've already met this person. This person is already a part of your life. And so, you know, this person, yes, they could be the one. Okay. All right. So now something else positive with the tarot in 2020. We get the Six of Swords. So, you know, you this is you, um, Scorpio, really, you know, um, this could be you traveling. This is you taking that time out to really kind of take care of yourself. You know, again, this is about, you know, kind of um, fulfilling your goals, you know, your, your passions, you know. You guys want to take a vacation, a long vacation or something. This is you, um, you know, really, like I said, getting out there, doing that. And then we have the Queen of Sacred Circles, which is also, um, you know, known as the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you see her there, you know, very loving, very nurturing, very motherly. You know, she's, you know, smiling down on that little baby. This is you, you know, looking at fresh new starts, you know, getting those fresh new beginnings, you know, and really, like I said, um, really nurturing those connections. You know, like I said, I do see travel for you guys. That's going to be positive. You know, these are places you want to go. This is, you know, something that you want to do. This could be a goal of yours. Maybe you wanted to travel for a long time. You know, for others of you, this is just moving forward, getting out of that stuck, stagnant energy and moving forward and, you know, situations in your life. And again, like I said, Queen of Pentacles, she's very independent. She's very, um, you know, go get them type attitude, but she's not a chaser. You know, she's going to let things come to her because she knows her work. Earth. She is, like I said, very loving, very nurturing. <clears throat> you know, she's also, again, you know, all about stability, you know, security. She's feeling good. She's, like I said, very independent. And she's also, you know, very grounded too, you know, with that earth energy. All right. And then we have the eight of circles that came out as well. <clears throat> You know, Eight of Circles, that talks about putting the work in. So something, you know, positive in 2020 is you're really going to be putting the work into pursuing those passions, into pursuing those goals. You know, you're not no longer just um, kind of putting them off to the sides, you know, like, well, you know, I'll get to it when I can get to it. You know, you're no longer procrastinating. No, you're taking things, you know, you're taking action. You're putting that work in. That way you can actually, you know, like I said, go do the traveling. Maybe you're putting in extra hours at work. So that way you can take that time off for vacation. You have that extra spending money, you know, so you can go travel, you know, this could be a number of things, you know, this could just be in work life, this could be within a relationship, but you know, this is you, like I said, really using that focus and that concentration and putting that hard work in that way you can attain your goals. 
And then we have the Prince of Swords, which you know, um, also known as like the um, the Knight of Swords. This is him, or well, this is you. I'm sorry, Scorpio, um, but this is you. You know, cutting out those things that just you know you're done with. You know, this is you not really. Um, this is you taking action. You know, and this is kind of fast action. So for some of you, you know, it's like you've already decided a long time ago. So now it's just time to take action. You know, this is really you just, um, you know, again, cutting, cutting things out that just, you know, it's not doing it for you. You know, this isn't where you want to be, you know, you want something else. And so this is you, like I said, taking that action. Um, you know, this could also mean communication, you know, is coming for you in 2020 and it's going to be some, you know, kind of unexpected swift communication, but you know, whatever it is, like I said, you're ready, you know, you are ready to, like I said, pursue all those passions to get what it is that you've been waiting on or that you've been procrastinating about. All right. So now let's, since we did something positive, let's do something negative and something negative in 2020 for Scorpio is, you know, just, it's mostly talking about, you know, those hurdles that you're going to have to work through. You know, it's going to be, uh, excuse me, I'm going to pause this. Okay, sorry about that. I had the windows open and the train's going by as usual because I swear the train knows what I'm going to film and then they decide to go by because every other time it's quiet. <laughs> but um, it's a beautiful day, so I do apologize if that picked up any of it. <clears throat> All right, so now we're back. So something negative in 2020, like I said, this could just be, you know, kind of that hurdle you have to get over, you know, that bump in the road, you know, something that you need to work through. And with the world coming out, you know, for you, uh, Scorpio, this is you really needing to close out those cycles, really needing to, um, you know, put that, when you put the work in, you know, it's not just about starting one project and then jumping to another project. You know, with that Knight of Swords um, that came out, you know, with something positive, you know, yes, it's positive, but it can also kind of affect this situation as far as, you know, you're excited. And so it's that in and out energy, but it's not really, um, you know, completing things. It's starting one thing and then getting excited, starting another thing, you know, and to where you have multiple projects going on at once. And then before you know it, you're kind of overwhelmed and then you're just like, okay, I'm done with that. Let me just go over here and I'm going to start something new over here. You know, so, you know, Scorpio, we need to really kind of focus on that. And, you know, again, make sure you're closing out those cycles. Make sure, you know, you're just kind of working through all those things and you're just, you know, finishing things up. All right. Now, what is something negative in 2020 for Sagittarius? All right. Yeah. See, Sagittarius, um, when I said that you guys were going to kind of be all over the place and everything, then we have grounding comes out. So, you know, make sure you are really kind of getting grounded, um, you know, and that sounds kind of funny, but make sure you guys are really kind of grounding yourselves this year in 2020, because that can really be kind of negative if you're not, um, you know, you're going to really need to make sure that your feet are planted firmly on the ground. You're kind of getting back in touch with nature. You're really finding that stability, you know, that practicality and, you know, you're really just, um, you know, you are really kind of here for it. You know what I mean? You're living in the present. You know, like I said, it's great to start a project, but let's try to finish it out before we move on to something new. You know, you want to put that focus into one thing at a time instead of being all over the place. And so that's exactly what this grounding card is coming out for. You know, this also refers to, you know, your root chakra, you know, it's card number six. All right. So also something negative, um, that is coming out and I, really don't see this as being negative. Um, well, you know, some of you don't like change. So this could be kind of negative, but there's a new start that's coming in 2020. And like I said, the reason that this is a problem for some of you is because a lot of you don't like change. You know, some of you are okay with this. Some of you are craving it. Some of you, you know, a lot of you going into 2020, were like, yes, let's do this. I'm tired of the old, you know, we need to get something new in here. We need to get something fresh. You know, I want something different. And then when it gets here, you kind of freak out. You're like, oh no, what, what is going on here? You know, what's, um, you know, what's going on. And so again, you kind of freak out, but you know, this new start is coming. Don't look at it as a negative thing. You know, this isn't a negative thing. Um, you know, it's a new start. It's something that you can grow on, something you can grow forth. You're not going to know all the details. And that's why Scorpio, um, this is kind of looking negative to you because you don't know the details. You, 
don't have control over this. You know, Scorpios tend to like to be in control of things. They like to control situations. They like to just make sure things, you know, kind of go their way. And with this new start coming in, that's not how it's going to go, Scorpio. This is completely out of your hands. You know, the world here um, is kind of saying the same thing. You know, this has to do more with the divine, divine timing than it has to do with your timing or with your, um, you know, with... Well, it has to do with you in mind, of course, because it's your life. But, you know, it's just, it's kind of out of your hands is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now, this is kind of a funny one for something negative. Um, in relationships, we have reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. So Scorpio, the reason that this is in the negative aspect of your 2020 is because some of you don't want to reconcile with anybody from your past. You know, they were toxic relationships. Maybe they were relationships that were just, you know, I mean, toxic. They weren't good. You know, they were holding you back. They weren't helping you grow as a person. And, you know, you don't want those back. You don't want to go down that road. So Scorpio, you have the power. Everybody has free will. And I say this in almost every video that I make. You have free will. If you don't want that person, that person comes knocking on your door, you know, hey, can I get a second chance? You have the power to not even open that door. You don't have to open that door. And you sure don't have to answer them or give them a second chance. You know, remember that. So with reconciliation, for some of you, this is going to, you know, be kind of that, um, you know, being tempted by that fruit, you know, if you will, um, you know, it's going to be that reconciliation to where, you know, you miss this person and you're kind of wondering, have they changed? You know, it's that sweet talking. It's, um, you know, that silver tongue devil kind of sneaking in and, you know, curiosity gets the best of you and Scorpio, you go ahead, you take him back and, you know, it turns negative. Maybe this person hasn't changed. Maybe, like I said, this person was just, um, nothing more than just kind of a temptation to you. You know, they haven't changed. They just, you know, wanted to kind of, you know, just be back with you for a moment to get their needs fulfilled or whatever the case may be. But, you know, so just watch out for those exes that are coming back. You know, you're going to know the difference between a soulmate. You're going to feel, like I said, trust your intuition this year, um, Scorpio, and just know that, you know, sometimes reconciling, you know, with certain people, it's, it's not the best for you. It's not a great idea. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into the goal to strive for in 2020. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch up the card decks. So what is a goal to strive for for Scorpio in 2020? Beautiful. So your main goal is that lover's card. You know, Scorpio, you want, like I said, you don't want friends with benefits. You don't want one night stands. You don't want someone who's just here for a fling and get what they need from you and they're gone. You want something meaningful. You want something long lasting. You want that soulmate connection. You want that out of this world chemistry. You know, you want that, um, that thing between you guys where it is just drawing you to one another. And like I said, this is really a divine connection here. This is a soulmate energy. And so, you know, Scorpio, this is you, like I said, being with that, you know, wanting that for this year. And so this is really, um, your goal to strive for, you know, and usually the seven of cups, you know, that's about confusion and, you know, this and that. Okay. Well, in this particular deck, this seven of cups, it's, um, to me, you know, it's about having choices, you know, you're going to have choices this year. This could be choices amongst, um, you know, lovers, amongst, you know, relationships, amongst, um, you know, work, you know, jobs, you know, this is you just having you know, like I said, choices, different opportunities to get you to your rainbows, to get you to your happy place, to get you to that home, you know, whatever it is that you are looking for, these are your goals that you are striving for this year. And you're not going to let anything, you know, get in your way. All right. So what do we have for relationship? Although we already have lovers out, I'll go ahead and take a romance angel to see what are we striving for? with our partner or with love in 2020, please. Oh, okay. All right. So we have wedding. Now for some of you, this is actually wanting to get married this year. You know, this is, um, you know, wanting to take those vows. And for others of you, this is, um, you just taking that relationship to a higher level of commitment. You know, this is you, like I said, wanting that, um, you know, wanting a more committed relationship, 
All right. And then another goal to strive for. Moonology says a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Look at that. So, yes. All right. So... That is your goal to strive for. Beautiful. Alrighty. Shuffle these. Alright, now what is going to be your area? Or I'm sorry, your lesson of 2020. We forgot that one. Oh, I forgot that one. Alright, what is your lesson in 2020? Okay. All right, so we have King of Cups. We have that Prince of Swords again. And then we have Princess of Cups. All right, so your lesson of 2020 this year. Um, you know, this is going to be about, you know, like I said, kind of cutting things out, really kind of learning to focus. Um, you know, mostly taking action. Like I said, not sitting on the sidelines, not procrastinating. You know, it's taking action towards your goals, towards what it is that you want, you know, what you're um, striving for. You know, Princess of Cups, this is you toying with that idea of that new love, that new relationship, you know, wanting to make that offer. You know, this is you, like I said, really experiencing those new emotions, those new feelings, you know, really feeling love. Um, you know, this is going to be your main lesson of 2020. So, you know, again, like I said, you don't want anything old. You want something new. You want, you want to feel that love. You want to feel that passion, you know, whether it's rekindling it with someone you've been with for a long time or, you know, it's, like I said, finding someone you know, brand new. All right. And then we have the King of Cups, you know, your lesson of 2020, make sure we are communicating, you know, the King of Cups, he's kind of opposite, you know, the Queen of Cups. I mean, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She's, you know, very loving, very, um, very nurturing. You know, she's not afraid to express her feelings to where the King of Cups, you know, he tends to, you know, see how he's kind of clutching that cup, you know, he's holding those emotions to himself. So, you know, Scorpio, um, you know, kind of, like I said, release that control, you know, because you do, you want to share that cup with someone, you want to offer that cup of love of emotions, you know, so make sure, like I said, the scales are balanced, make sure you're getting, um, you know, what you put out, make sure you're getting that back in. So, you know, again, um, this is your lesson of 2020, you know, balance that out, make sure you're not giving more than what you're receiving, you know, balance balance that, you know, then again, really focus, you know, not so much in and out, you know, energy. And then as far as moonology goes, we have your commitment is being tested. And then we have a time for healing. So these two cards wanted to come out and, you know, this is a lesson of 2020. So I went ahead and I took them. But what this is telling me, um, you know, remember we talked about that, you know, temptation kind of being tempted. You know, this is, it's kind of funny that this thing, um, you know, it comes out in your lesson because it's like that was a temptation. There is going to be someone that kind of tempts you in 2020, you know, really kind of tempts that commitment, you know, to your partner. And, you know, that's, like I said, free will, you know, that is definitely your call. Um, but yeah, but, you know, this is also a lesson in 2020. This is really going to be a big year for, you know, healing, healing past emotional wounds you know, just um, doing some self-care, you know, really, like I said, moving on and really, you know, just feeling good about yourself, working on that confidence, you know, and everything else. Now, as far as um, the chakra oracle, we have throat chakra coming out. So, you know, this is you really expressing yourself, you know, again, with this king of cups here, you know, that's someone who kind of holds those emotions in, who doesn't really, um, you know, express those so openly. So, you know, to show that vulnerable side to them. So, you know, this is you, like I said, lesson of 2020, you need to open up that throat chakra. You need to express those feelings, you know, really, like I said, um, tell people how you feel, you know, negative or positive, you know, it's you, like I said, just communicating, you know, communicating what it is you need, communicating, you know, um, personal boundaries, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, it's just, you need to make sure you are communicating. You're not staying silent. You know, something hurts you, you know, something doesn't feel right, you know, by all means, like I said, communicate that. All right. So now, what is the lesson of love in 2020? The lesson in love. 
for, oh, okay, we had one. Okay, so we have chemistry. You know, so lesson in 2020, you are really going to be, um, and I gotta show you guys again. What do we have again at the bottom of the deck? Soulmate. I, th I don't know if y'all are <laughs> um, coupled up with Sagittarius or something, but Sagittarius kept getting the same thing. And I think I may have even slipped and said Sagittarius in your Scorpio reading. I'm going to have to go back and check on that. So if I did, I'm sorry for that. But anyways, um, you know, there's going to be some chemistry here. Lesson of 2020, this is something that you want. You know, you want to feel that magnetic attraction. You know, you want to feel someone really being drawn to you, you really being drawn to someone else. You know, and again, you know, this could be where, like I said, where it could kind of get you in trouble because, you know, your commitment is going to be, you know, is going to be tested in 2020, you know, as far as your relationships go. So, you know, um, like I said, we do have some, you know, exes kind of coming back, you know, maybe there are some really good times with that particular ex or something. And, you know, so they come back and that's kind of a big temptation for you because there was a chemistry there. Maybe there is nothing else but chemistry between you two. And, you know, that's still enough to kind of, you know, test that commitment. So just again, kind of be aware of that because this is going to be one of your lessons in 2020, you know, going into 2020. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's look at the area of self-growth. So which area are you going to be growing in in 2020? All right. So area of self-growth 2020. The tower, yeah. Okay, so the area you guys are going to be growing in, okay, and then at the bottom of the deck we have the emperor. That just feels kind of relevant because, you know, the tower kind of brings, like I said, chaos because it's bringing change. It's bringing a necessary change. This is divine intervention. This is, again, getting rid of things that just aren't steady, that are not going to last long because they're built on a filthy, filthy, a faulty foundation. So, you know, the area of self-growth is, you know, you're going to have some unexpected, um, you know, chaotic things that are really going to cause some breakdowns this year in 2020. But you know what? Like I said, the emperor being on the bottom of the deck, this is really telling me that that's okay because you have that control. You're a Scorpio. Remember who you are. Remember that nothing can truly throw you off your path. Nothing is too much for a Scorpio. You guys are strong. You are strong-willed. You know, you are, um, you know, you're, well, all 12 signs are amazing. But, you know, if anybody can handle this pressure, if anybody can handle these, you know, these curveballs coming at you, you know, it's a Scorpio. So, you know, really, I'm not seeing too much of a concern. Um, you know, this is self-growth, this tower, you know, the destruction of this tower, you know, like I said, this divine intervention, this, um, you know, this chaotic, you know, kind of intense moment that are going to happen. It's all caused so that way you can grow. You know, this is, we grow from this, you know, from this pain, from, you know, like I said, from this chaos, from this situation, you know, we grow from this so we can take back control and we can build those foundations that are going to be stronger, that are going to be sturdier, sturdier, and that are going to last us a lifetime, you know, whether it's just with ourself or partner, you know, whatever it is. But like I said, this is your area of self-growth for 2020. All right. So like I said, but you, you don't lose control. You regain that control and, you know, and it's looking good for you. All right. So now let's get into the one, everybody's favorite topic, relationships. So what do we have in relationships 2020 for Scorpio? Scorpio relationships. 2020. And keep in mind, you know, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be with family. This could be with friends. This could be with, um, you know, any type of situationship. So, all right. So 2020. Okay. We have one and we have two. Okay. So as far as relationships go, okay. So the one that flew out, we have the tower and we have the world. Okay, so as far as relationship goes, oh, and then on the bottom, I have to show you this because this is very relevant. This is a will of fortune. Get that there. 
giant cards. Okay, so, you know, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, and, you know, we did have the Moonology card coming out earlier, talking about, you know, luck being on your side. Um, <clears throat> in relationships, you know, there's going to be some big changes as far as relationship goes. You know, like I said, there's going to be some temptations for you, Scorpio. And I'm seeing it for you, not so much your person. I am seeing this for you. So, you know, you're going to be tempted by, you know, some person, by somebody. Um, but this could also be with the world here, too. This is getting rid of toxic relationships. This is stepping away from connections that just aren't serving you, that aren't helping you grow, that are just no good for you. They are built on, like I said, that faulty foundation. So it's time to kind of get rid of those those um, relationships to move on. We need to close out those circles. Remember, we talked about this Scorpio, too. So, you know, it looks like we're going to be closing out those relationships that are just kind of toxic, that just aren't really, like I said, helping us grow because they're not built on that, that strong, you know, sturdy foundation. But what comes in is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And then bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right, so Scorpio, as far as relationships go, like I said, for some of you, this is going to be the ending of one, the closing out of those past, you know, relationships. You know, this could also be, you know, that one that kind of got away, um, the one you still feel very connected to, the one you're still, you know, thinking about. Um, this could be a twin flame situation to where now you're finally deciding, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing this chaser runner thing anymore. You know, I'm closing this out. I'm done. I'm moving on because I deserve new love. I deserve to be love i deserve to get back what i put into situations and so you know here comes this new person and you know they're definitely stirring in you know stirring up these romantic feelings within you so overall relationships like i said there's going to be some that end but you know there's new ones where the old ones begin you know it's the cycle it's the world card when something ends you know something new begins you know it's a circle all right so beautiful and then like i said bottom of the deck with that um Will of fortune, you know, luck is on your side. This is kind of divine timing, you know, where you are stuck in a relationship or you're just kind of stuck because you can't release someone, you know, the divine's going to do it for you. <laughs> so, yeah, there's always that. All right, now let's check into your career. So how is career looking 2020 for Scorpio? Oh, Nice. All right. So as far as your career goes, for some of you, this could be really kind of, um, you know, doing like a self-employment, this, you know, um, you starting up your own business. You know, this is that single energy kind of maybe, like I said, working for yourself or just feeling very independent. You know, you're not relying on anybody financially. You're doing your own thing. You know, you are, um, you know, you're getting in your groove. You're just kind of, you know, you're doing your daily grind. You're getting to where you need to go and you're feeling good about it. Like I said, this is you really kind of being positive. Like I said, not relying on anybody, not, you know, having to, um, you know, worry about financial matters because this is, you know, the nine of sacred circles. This is, you know, stability. Like I said, this is independent energy. So as far as your career goes, like I said, for some of you, I really do see, um, you know, in bottom of the deck, that is a 10 of staves. So there's going to be some struggles, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, to get to this energy, especially if you want to start up your own business or you want to be self-employed, you know, however you want to, um, refer to that, you know, kind of same thing. But, um, you know, there's going to be some struggle. There's going to feel, you know, like an immense, you know, amount of pressure on your shoulders. You know, it's not easy. There's a lot of hard work. But like I said, Scorpio, this is something that you want. You know, I see a lot of you, like I said, really kind of going out on your own, you know, really finding something new. And again, but being very successful at it. So as far as career goes, yeah, like I said, um, you know, very stable, very, you know, solid. Like I said, some of you are really going to be kind of going out on your own and starting your new thing. You know, that could also be kind of a promotion or just feeling really good in the current position that you're at because you are doing very well financially. All right. So now let's get into health for Scorpio, please. I'm going to take a chakra card for this one. So tell me about health for Scorpio in 2020. All right. 
So we have the mind coming out, and then we have grounding. Okay, so now for some of you, and you know, bottom of the deck, it's self-esteem. You see that? Card number 21, you know, confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. So now some of you are going to, um, you know, in 2020, as far as health goes, this is, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, you could have depression, you could have, um, you know, with this being the mind here, there could be anxiety. There could be, um, you know, especially being next to, like I said, grounding. There could be some, you know, physical ailments. Um, you know, but like I said, I'm seeing a lot of more like kind of mental health. So this could be, like I said, anxiety. This could just be very, feeling very overwhelmed, very stressed out. Um, you know, some depression, having some body issues, you know, that's, you know, creating some self-esteem issues. Um, you know, things like that. You know, again, I am by no means, you know, a doctor or psychiatrist, anything like that. So, you know, definitely, like I said, you know, seek help for the areas that you need it. You know, I'm just kind of telling you, you know, this could be some areas to really kind of watch out for as far as health, you know, is concerned. Um, in 2020. All right. So now let's look into spirituality. So once again, I'm going to take a chakra oracle and then I'm going to take a tarot. So 2020 spiritual. And then we will do the overall and then we will wrap it up. All right. So we have. As far as spirituality goes, let me get my other cards here. We have relationships. So this is talking about number nine, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. So this is really kind of, um, you know, trusting within yourself. This is, you know, getting that intimate relationship, you know, with your spirituality. Really kind of, kind of like I said, getting more comfortable with your spirituality. Really kind of... Um, you know, searching out things, searching out relationships. Um, this could be finding a new place to practice your spirituality. This could be, you know, finding a person that shares the same belief system, you know, that you do. You know, so that's, as far as spirituality, that's what that card means. I'm trying to get a tarot here for spirituality in 2020. Yeah. So, you know, we have some enlightenment here. We have some um, some kind of eye-opening things as far as spirituality goes. You know, it's that aha moment. It's that mental clarity. Like I said, this is really you um, pursuing what it is that, you know, you um, believe in really, you know, taking it to the next level. Like I said, looking for someone who, you know, possibly shares, you know, the same um, belief system with you, really forming that strong spiritual relationship, you know, with people as well as just with, um, you know, with your higher self. All right, so now let's get the overall energy for 2020 for Scorpio. And then we are done. So Scorpio, what is your overall energy? <sighs> okay, that is too many cards here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these first two just because I think they are very, very relevant to your 2020. And they keep calling to me. Oops, and I just hit my mic. All right, so card number 16 and then card number three. Card number three is action. This is movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. So your overall energy, like I said, you're taking that action this year. You're no longer procrastinating. You're no longer just thinking about things. You know, you're making them happen. You are, you know, taking that action. Now with card number 16, you know, this is also you setting those personal boundaries, all right, so, sorry, that train went by again. Okay, so, um, again, this is you setting those personal boundaries. So the overall energy, like I said, it's taking action. It's, you know, being assertive, you know, being your authentic self and telling people when enough is enough. Like I said, setting those personal boundaries because you don't want to feel overwhelmed this year. You don't want to, like I said, you know, give too much and then not receive anything in return. You know, this is about you really, like I said, going back to that seven of cups, you know, with the rainbow and the castle, you know, having choices, having opportunities. Opportunities. You know, so overall, you know, that's what these cards are saying. And then for Moonology, we have you're very close to achieving your goal. 
So, you know, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, Scorpio, you know, you've got these goals, like I said, because you're taking action, because you are being assertive and setting those personal boundaries and telling people when enough is enough, you know, really, like I said, empowering yourself, you know, that's putting you one step closer to really achieving your goals that you have set for yourself in 2020. All right, and then your overall energy for um, relationships, we have engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you, this is actually, you know, getting engaged, you know, to your person, um, you know, to, or to a, you know, future person, you know, if you haven't met them yet. Um, for others of you, this is, you know, just getting a higher form of commitment, you know, <clears throat> And again, it could be that new love. It could be that soulmate. You know, just, I guess we will see during the year. All right. And then for your tarot, we have the three of sacred circles. So, you know, this is, um, you know, really kind of finding that person you work well with. And I have to show you the bottom of the deck because it's the magician. You know, again, taking action, making things happen. Um, but, you know, the three of sacred circles for overall energy for your tarot, that's really just saying that, um, <clears throat> you know, you find that person that you really work well with. You know, this could be happiness within your work environment. This could be, you know, like I said, um, putting in that work, you know, with your partner because, you know, they put in just as equal work with you. You know, this is just really finding, like I said, being able to focus. This is that situation where, you know, to become one, this is something that is just in unity, you know, something that is very symbolic with, you know, like the Holy Trinity. Um, you know, this is, like I said, a very a great overall energy. Like I said, it's really things just kind of working in your favor this year in 2020. So, all right, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I thank you so very much. If you made it this far in the video, um, you are definitely a trooper because these are the longest videos I think I've ever done. So, thank you so very much for being here with me. I do appreciate it. I will be back with your January 2020 and um, a few other things I have in store for you guys again. So, yeah, so thank you so very much. Uh, happy holidays, and we will talk again soon.